Hello everyone, and today, I will be talking about a science fiction film called Alita, Battle Angel. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Human society has been greatly altered in the year of 2563 after a war that began 300 years ago. Humanity is divided into those who live like gods in the flying city of Salem and those less fortunate, struggling to survive on the ground. Zalem throws the city's garbage onto the people below, and many will scavenge the leftovers, hoping to find anything of value that could better their lives. One of those people is Dr. Dyson, Ito, who finds a humanoid head in monster garbage that intrigues him greatly. He brings the robot. She begins preparing her, reattaching a completely new body to the woman, trying to resurrect her in the process. The girl eventually wakes up and is surprised to see her newly functional limbs. She walks towards the mirror and looks at her new body in amazement. The girl meets the doctor downstairs, who's glad that she's awake and shows extreme care about the cyborgs while being a doctor. Idol gives the girl food. After a long slumber, she wakes up to find out that the cyborg doesn't remember anything about her past, not even her own name. He tries to comfort her. By showing her the city, the girl quickly notices the large flying structure hovering above the people. She wants to go there immediately, but the doctor tells her that no one from below is allowed to step into the city of Salem. And it's been like that for 300 years. The girl wants the doctor to give her a name, and the man decides to call her Aletta, who was no doubt someone very important to him in the past. The girl continues to tour around the city and eventually meets a young man named Hugo, who she takes a liking to on first sight. The man's also intrigued by her robotic limbs and promising to show her around town, Hugo shows Aletta to the most popular game in the city, called end quote, motorball end quote, and decides to teach her to play the game while introducing the girl to his friends. They begin the first round, and Aletta is able to learn to maneuver very quickly as they go back and forth in the stadium. The girl manages to master her movements and steals the ball from one of the players while knocking the man to the ground. Ollie takes the chance to score the point easily as everyone cheers for her name. Hugo is surprised to see her skills. And tells her that she should consider playing the real game in the future. The young man takes the girl to his favorite location, a vantage point that overlooks the entire city. Aletta is amazed by how the city looks from above, but the man tells her that the best view is what lies in the sky. Hugo reveals that his goal is to go to Salem, and he plans to do everything he can to achieve his dream at night. Alita fails to fall asleep, still thinking about her time with Hugo, but notices that Dr. Ito is leaving the house while carrying a large suitcase. She decides to follow the men and find out where they're going in the middle of the night, only to see that the idol is preparing to strike down a helpless woman by ambushing her from behind the walls. Aletta immediately stops him from committing murder, but she realizes that the woman has disappeared into thin air. Then a large man slowly appears from behind and causes the doctor, a hunter warrior, to confuse the girl even more. Another man appears as he jumps down from the rooftop and begins threatening the two while sounding like the Joker. The doctor begins attacking the cyborg and manages to cut off one of his arms, but the opponent is able to strike back immediately and knocks him to the floor. Surprisingly, the girl jumps towards the enemy and kicks him to the ground. She punches the man's face repeatedly until the sidewalk ceases to function and the woman from before appears as well and reveals that she's also one of the assassins. She attacks the main character using her blades, trying desperately to slice Aletta into pieces. The assassin charges towards the girl, launching a book at her. He is able to counter and kick the opponent onto the wall. The girl jumps towards her enemy and kicks her on the head, breaking the woman's neck. As the body drops on the ground, the large man reveals that he's a giant machine and tries to punch a leader using immense power. But the girl is able to dodge the attacks and jumps onto the ceiling. She stares at the large man and prepares to attack, eventually jumping down with a devastating kick that cuts off the man's army in a single strike. She then takes the doctor's hammer and continues to knock the large man backwards, forcing him to escape from the sewers, Eltar goes with the doctor towards the collection center, and the man explains that instead of using the police, the factories pay bounty hunters to kill criminals who are listed. The girl wonders why the man would choose to participate in something so dangerous, but I explained to her that he used to have a daughter named Aletta, and she was killed by the hands of a dangerous criminal. Ever since that day, I have been trying to find the man responsible for his daughter's death. His compulsive need to avenge his daughter is also the reason why his wife, 
Sharon, left their marriage. At the same time, the doctor's ex-wife was trying to seduce a man named Victor using her female assets. She desperately wants to return to Salem, where she's originally from. The man only gives her obscure promises and tells her to give him better fighters for the motorball game that he runs. She gets up from bed and notices someone outside her window. Suddenly, a large man breaks into her room and crashes onto the floor. It turns out that the criminal's name is Grishka, and he works for the woman in her home. Lover Victor Sheeran learns from the sideboard that Idol has thought about a robot girl, and she is single-handedly responsible for destroying their entire team. The woman tries to repair the sidewalk right away, but the large man quickly becomes possessed by a greater power who speaks through him to the doctor. Victor immediately recognizes this person as Nova, a powerful figure from Zalem who orders the couple to kill the girl and bring her body in for experimentation. Nova also takes over the doctor's lover and promises to return. She can go to the flying city if she does exactly what he says in the future. Meanwhile, Hugo takes a leader to the motorball game, where she sees the fighters in the ring destroying each other as they battle for the ball. She also learns that a person can eventually become a final champion by beating everyone consistently and being granted the privilege of going to Salem before their conversation continues. Hugo's friends arrive and tell him that something has come up, and the man says goodbye to Aletta as he rushes off in a hurry. Moments later, one of the leading champions arrives. At the motorball game, they are attacked by a group of men and taken hostage inside their vehicle, where they cut off the men's weapons by force. It turns out that the gang's leader is Hugo, who also works under Victor as he provides weapons for the man. While receiving cash, they leave the body of the motorball player with Victor, and the memory feels that he cannot allow anyone to become the final champion, as no one must be allowed to go to Salem the next day. Hugo brings Aletta away from the city as they travel into the countryside, where they eventually arrive at the lake. In front of a large congregation apparently, the aircraft is from the United Republic of Mars, which attacked the city of Salem during the war 300 years ago. Alida immediately feels a connection with the ship and jumps into the water, trying to go inside as it may reveal the truth about her past. The girl manages to enter the ship and eventually makes it into the weapons room, where she sees a metallic body that she feels a strong mental connection to. Moments later, Aletta is able to bring the body outside towards her friends as everyone looks on. In her amazement, the girl wants the doctor to combine her with the new technology as this will allow her to fight any threat that may come her way in the future. The doctor refuses, immediately explaining that Alida was originally a Martian berserker and may have purposely destroyed Earth in the war. This is why he can't unite her with the body, as he doesn't want the girl to resume her previous programming. Aletta is heartbroken by the doctor's mistrust and refusal to help, which prompts her to leave and find her own way. Through this journey, the girl goes to the collection center and apply to become one of the bounty hunters. She then rushes into the local bar alongside Hugo, where all the hunters are gathered, and tries to ask for their help against Grishka. However, her proposition is met with ridicule, as her enemy lacks any bounty, obviously protected by people with power. A hunter warrior named Apen tries to embarrass her and mock her efforts, which quickly results in a fight, but Alida is able to defeat the men and sends them flying across the room, telling him that he doesn't deserve the sword that he carries. Which is also Martian technology. Their skirmish causes the other bounty hunters to become hostile, and they begin attacking Alida one after the other, forcing the girl to fight and defend her life. Dr. Idol rushes into the bar, only to see chaos in the making and quickly stops everyone by threatening to not give out any more free repairs. He demands to speak with Aletta, but the front door crashes open, revealing a giant figure that appears to be Grishka, who has clearly undergone multiple upgrades. The men attack Aletta. Using his new weapons, he forces the girl to retreat temporarily, forcing Goris Katon's Alida to follow him as he breaks the floor and jumps into the sewers. The main character chases behind where she arrives in a large underground structure that's full of garbage. She sees the giant cyborg and persists too, attacking furiously, eventually using her kick, just like before, but fails to break the man's arm. After the upgrades, Grishka launches the grind cutters, which forces Aletta to run for her life, but she manages to dodge the attacks and charge forward. Kicking her enemy right in the face, who gave us our new weapon, appears to be extremely hard to deal with, as the girl has trouble closing the distance against her enemy. Aletta launches a final attack as she leaps towards the giant man against the numerous cutters heading her way, 
but her body gets cut into pieces before she can reach her enemy. In Grishka's approach, the girl laughs maniacally as the leader tries to get up using one arm. In a last-ditch effort to retaliate, the girl launches herself at the giant with one arm, piercing the man's right. In the eye, Grishka screams in pain and tries to finish off a little, but the doctor and his team arrive just in time, and they were able to chase away the giant cyborg using their combined attacks. Idol takes the girl back to the laboratory and decides to fix her using the Martian body, now willing to see Eli get her in the future. The results were better than expected, as the girl demonstrated incredible abilities. After equipping the browser, her body, which amazes even the doctor himself, meanwhile, Nova sees that Grishka has failed once again. He decides to implement a different strategy against the girl. He meets with Hugo and begins asking the men about his friend, promising to send him to a solemn if he's able to convince Alita to join the motorball games. The next morning, Hugo tries to convince the girl to participate in the games, stating that she can make enough money for both of them to go to Zalem. Alita agrees without thinking, believing everything the man says. She's obviously blinded by love. What they don't realize is that the Pan is spying on them from afar and plans to seek revenge. After the humiliation that he received earlier that night, Alita prepares to attend the tryouts with the help of Dr. Idol, who tells her to be very careful as it can be very dangerous in the tournaments. She tells the old man to not worry as she feels pretty confident with her new berserk. With her body on the other side, Victor tells every one of the competitors to destroy Alita and promises to give them a large amount of money for the person that takes her head. Alita arrives at the stadium and prepares to commence the game, but she begins to notice the hostility. She turns away from the other players and realizes that something is wrong. She rushes away from the group as everyone begins attacking her and chasing her from behind. But the girl is able to counter the attacks and disable many of the opponents. However, the players continue to chase her, disregarding the game entirely, while Aletta tries desperately to survive their onslaught one after the other. At the same time, Hugo runs into a pan who desires to kill him in order to take revenge on the main character. The hunter kills one of the cyborgs and plans to frame the man. While chasing after him as a bounty appears under Hugo's name, the man tries desperately to escape the hunter warrior and arrives at a bridge, where he casually asks for help, telling her that he will try to escape and meet her at the church. The girl hears this and quickly rushes outside the arena, being chased by the remaining players. Aletta tries her best to avoid the attackers while heading towards Hugo, but eventually gets captured by the warriors as she gets slammed to the ground. The two fighters try to kill a leader right away, but she managed to break free. Causing the female assassin to be killed by her teammates. She then ties the final attacker using a metal chain and throws him into a large grinder that drags the robot into the machine and tears him into pieces. Aletta makes it to Hugo just in time and stops the hunter warrior from killing her friend. That becomes a shot when she sees a bounty on the men's heads. Hugo tries to explain that he was framed by Alita, who finds it hard to forgive him after learning that he was stealing parts from people like herself. Zeppin seizes the opportunity presented by their argument and kicks Hugo in the stomach that a leader to cry in Russian to save her friend. She carries Hugo away from the hunters trying to escape inside the church. The man apologizes profusely to his friend and admits that what he did was wrong. He tells her that he planned to quit tonight because he realized he loved her more than enduring solemnity. Sharon arrives at the location and sees the two lovers on the floor. The woman is moved by their love for each other changing her mind about capturing Alita and plans to help them escape. After some time, Aletta comes out. While carrying Hugo's head out of the church, Aletta realizes that she's keeping the man alive using her own blood. She takes the hunter's sword and slashes the man's face, causing Zapanta to scream in pain while she walks away from the hunters. Hugo's killer back at the laboratory, Ido, was able to save Hugo by combining his head with a machine body and explaining too early to the victor that she was lying to her friend from the start. Since no one can go to Zalem except for the final champion, the main character feels extremely guilty about her. France's current situation and plans to use her powers to make things right. Aletta rushes into Victor's apartment and plans to take revenge on Hugo, but her attempts are stopped by Grishka, who strikes her in the torso using the ground cutter. 
However, it turns out that Alethes's body is able to self-repair, and she destroys the robust tentacles with her sword and customary ending, finally ending the killer's life should the man's victorious show her Nova and the man are both possessed by his blue eyes, Nova congratulates the girl for killing him. His team is achieving so much, but once she heard that, unlike herself, her friends and family are not so invulnerable, the girl kills Victor with anger and warns the men to not underestimate her, but Nova only laughs in Tulsa, telling Lita that he's looking forward to seeing her soon. She receives a message from Idol, who tells her that Hugo has run off by himself, trying to climb onto the flying city through the wires. A little rushes to Hugo immediately as he tries to ascend into solemnity and tells him that this is a trap set by Nova in order to kill them both. Both Hugo and Pedro explain that he has nowhere to run now as there's a bounty on him in the city and going to Zalem is the only choice. Their conversation is cut short when the city's defense ring is activated and rushes towards them at blinding speed. Hugo tries to jump over the ring, but is quickly cut into pieces. Aletta follows closely behind, and she's able to catch the man at the last moment. However, as he goes, his arm begins to fall apart, and he thanks Aletta for saving his life before eventually falling to his death, causing the girl to scream. Aletha continues to compete in the motorball games, despite her grief over her friend's death, and quickly becomes a contender for the final champion, she goes on to the stage where everyone is cheering for her name, and the girl points her weapon at Solemn, expressing her conviction to find Nova. While the mass scientist looks back at her from the flying city, so what do you think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.